protests because um, they fired what is it? Um, 27 percent of the teachers, which is 81 teachers. And um, we had a school board meeting um, a while back, and they didn't answer any of our questions. And if they did, they told us that it's all part of um, their um, vision. Why does this make you feel so strongly? Because these are the teachers that we've grown up with. These are the teachers that my siblings have grown up with, that her siblings have grown up with. And these are the teachers that we trust and that believe in us to overcome the statistics as Native Americans. Um, also, they fired the teachers that have impacted our education over the years. Um, we've, they've impacted our education by like, teaching us a lot about our culture and all that. So, um, there's a, a group of kids that wanted to um, have a gathering today um, to begin the healing process and hopefully get some answers to some of the questions they have about the changes going on at our school. And um, this was a planned thing, peaceful, and they had the support of um, a lot of parents and community members. And you know, they're kids. It's surprising that they would be moved to do something. Why do you think they're moved to do this? I'll tell you what happened. It was supposed to be kept quiet until they left and they finished up their contracts. But a culture teacher got up last Friday. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. Excuse a culture me. teacher got up last Friday and involved the whole circle and asked all them people to step down in front of them children to say goodbye, which was not okay. And that's what involved the children. The children were aware of this. So we have some members that are here that were let go for a long period of time that ain't even showing up for school now. My granddaughter can't even finish up her homework. She's a senior. But she's gonna be able to graduate, but I got teachers here that aren't coming to work. And so my granddaughter can't finish all her things. So who's really at fault? The teachers for not caring that my granddaughter's graduating and they she can't finish up her homework because they're refusing to come to work? Yeah, who's at fault here? I believe it's the staff, the teachers. So I know they're bitter, but life goes on. Life moves on. Where you going? So Back over here. Amy did it with love and respect and gave them time. She did it face to face as opposed to saying, here, here's a piece of paper in your box. They had to line up for over an hour and in that the hallway. Have, and it didn't matter a, if they were there an hour, a year, that it didn't happen that way. or there for 35 years, David. They had to stand in line.